discovered the Grim Legacy from the library, and then I heard there was a sequel, and there was a sequel, so I bought the sequel. Hello, fellow book questers, it is I Iron the Book Quester, so today I have this epic, awesome fantasy book for you guys today The Will's Bequest by Polly Shulman herself, and well, let's get right on to it. So, basically, this is about a boy named Leo. And he is, uh, he comes from a family of scientists, and he's trying to find something to do for his science project. For the science fair, of course. Then he finds out that there is a magic, there's a New York circulating repository. It's like a library, except there's objects instead of books. So he goes to the repository, and, and that's what he does. But in the first chapter, uh, basically, a time machine appears in his bedroom, <laughs> oh gosh, and there he sees future him, but he was tiny, and a girl whose name seemed to be Jaya, and they were there, and it was Hill, and he was extremely jealous of the fact that future me was extremely comfortable with a gorgeous girl, which I would be the same if I were in that same situation. And Leah was like, whoa, this is gonna happen? Time machines exist? Oh my goodness. And then, of course, he goes to the repository and he starts to work there. And there, he meets Jaya, who is the head page. Now, if you remember from the last book, The Grim Legacy, Jaya is the little sister of Anna Jali, who is one of the main characters in that book. Um, yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, main character. And Jaya is as gorgeous as her sister before her for her and basically Leo has a crush and then of course he learns about the time machine he knows that he's gonna go to the past uh, sooner or later and come back from it and meet in his bedroom with Jaya and he's just thinking then of course incentive he finds out if they could go to the lab of the guy the time traveler you know who made the time travel? I have the book. Yeah, no, the time machine is that. Yeah, H.G. Wells time machine. I read this one, and in this book, the, there's the time machine, right? And there's like the model time machine, and basically he they decides with Jaya to stop time temporarily and grab the time machine when it is passing by in London in the time traveler's old house. That's some big brain moves right there. And then they get there and they realize, how are they going to stop time? Jaya has a pretty good idea. She surprise kisses our dear Leo, which makes him momentarily stop time, grab the time traveler's um, model time machine, and you realize that it isn't just science fiction, it's fantasy as well. And it's such a great bug. Then they go back. And then Simon. Simon, what did he do? What? Well, the thing is, he rigged some stuff, some results about a test thing. Well, about a application. And so that Jaya would win, and Jaya was furious, and she hated Simon, and she didn't want to talk to her ever, talk to him ever again. So Simon decided that he wanted the time machine, a working time machine, and to go back in time, to grab, to stop has passed himself from rigging the future and to change everything so that when he goes comes back to his time everything will be fine between him and Jaya and obviously he has a crush on Jaya as well so it's a romance as well alongside of fantasy and science fiction love those and basically then oh gosh Simon decides that he's gonna threaten everybody in the world to say that I have this death ray that my ancestors stole from Tesla who was one of the greatest minds in human history next to Edison he has a death ray and he said that he's gonna destroy states he's gonna destroy cities until they give him the time machine so that he could roll back everything head palm why why so so, Jaya and Leo, they already know they're gonna go to the past, so they grab the model time machine, shrink themselves, and goes back to the past 
to uh, to Tesla's time in order to stop from Simon's Simon's um Simon's royal relative ancestor from stealing the death ray plans from Tesla's workshop lab. And they go back and they meet Mark Twain, who apparently has met Jaya, who has who apparently time traveled in the future from that time in the future to the past and met well Mark Twain explained the concept of time traveling to him. Then they met Tesla. Now if an if a normal if a, a normal person, a normal average person, met someone who said they were time traveling, they would laugh. But Tesla's smart. He's a genius beyond time. And he he immediately just says, Okay, I get it. Wait, my lab's in danger? Okay, let's go. And so they run over there and they find Simon's great grand I mean his ancestor. And they meet there and they were about to snatch him. That's when Simon appears. Using two other time machines, two other Simons appear. One Simon wanted to stop Jaya and Jaya and Leo from taking back the plans, and the other Simon who wanted to stop the other Simon who wanted to uh, attack Jaya and Leo to stop them by saying, thing, knowing that he would hurt Jaya, and the other Simon attacks the other Simon, and things get really confusing. Then the fight clears up, and Simon, I mean Leo, conveniently saves his crush's life. Then they go back to the future, and that is stopped. But then we find out that Simon was accidentally erased out of existence. So then, Jaya and Leo both take a couple trips into the past to make things right. What do we do? So first, Jaya goes back to Mark Twain, 10 years before when they went back and explains the concept of time travel to him so that when they meet later, well, it will be nice. And then Leo goes back, uh, no, he, he doesn't really go back, there's like this radio thing. Um, it's magical, of course it is. And it tunes into the past and the present, uh, past and the future's, like, audio, and he can, like, put on the mic and tell his past self what to do, in the pandemonium of the fight that occurred before. And basically, he tells past Leo how to say Jaya. Not directly, it was more like he was pretending to be like, you know, if, if you're running and you're fighting someone, and then you hear yourself saying, punch to the left, you'll probably think it's your subconscious, not, you know, your future self messaging you so that you won't die and your crush won't die. So I think that's what Leo thought at the time. Then Jaya goes back and releases Simon's ancestor so that Simon would exist once again. Then Leo decides that he's gonna travel conveniently to the future to see what would happen with him and Jaya and finds him and Jaya kissing. So lucky him and he comes back and the thing happens. So it's an excellent romance. And that's pretty much the end of the book. Happy ending for both of our characters. Now a couple things, I was a little tiny bit disappointed that I thought it would be the story of Anna Jolly and Aaron, you know, the Aaron in the bug, and the main character in Gr and the characters in the Grim Legacy. I didn't expect the 10 year old is like 16 now in that bug, Jaya. And it's about, the, it's the future, it's not about the rest of them. It's not about the rest of the Grim Legacy people, so I felt a little bit sad about that, but then I realized that the writing was excellent and the plot was really, really intense, so t excellent time traveling, but, and time paradox is so complicated, it's just like, you know Artemis Fowl and the time paradox? Um, I can't explain the time paradox. It's almost as complicated as that, which is very impressive considering Earth of His Foul Time Paradox. That is literally the time paradox for me. And the Wellswick quest was, well, it was really fun exploring that other part of the repository. And it was kind of amusing to see Leo stumbling around his crush. And also, the fact that when he learned about the Grim Legacy stuff, you know, like the invisibility cloak, the talking mirror etc. Funny, isn't it? 
and he freaks out, which is also really funny. I think the plot is really well drawn and it's pretty intense. It did not disappoint as a sequel of The Grim Legacy. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. I do recommend this book. And don't worry about the character change because it's as natural as it gets.